If you have noticed that your router is slower than usual, it is becoming unresponsive or crashing, then it could be due to a high CPU usage. Today we will have a look at a tool that could help us pinpoint the cause. You might have set the CPU usage to be displayed in the corner of your Winbox, or you could be looking at system resources or perhaps system resource monitor, then you can see the CPU load. And in fact, you can see the load of each CPU core. If one of your cores is constantly running at 100%, but the rest are low, that could be an indication of a problem. If you are suspicious that a single core is being used by something going on at the network, you could also use the sniffer. On the right hand side, you can see that it's also displaying the cores that are being used. They're numbered starting from zero. But to examine what's going on on your router, we should use the tool profile. You can use it to look at the total usage of the CPU or the usage of a specific core. I'll just start for the CPU as a whole. There could be many different types of processes listed here. The full list can be found on our help page. And these could be helpful at identifying what's causing the high CPU load. So for example, if I copy a file to the router, you can see that the flash usage and the total usage went up. But it's only brief and it should go away once the process is done. One example could be fireball filters that are too advanced for your CPU. But whatever the case may be, first try to simplify your configuration. If you have simplified it and there's uh, no traffic going on on your network and your CPU usage is still running high, then please reset your router. And in fact, if you've been using an old outdated router OS version and exposing your ports to the WAN and maybe using weak credentials, then please do a net install. We have a video on how to use the net install GUI version and the net install CLI version. Thank you for watching.